Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Greetings and salutations. We're back to looking at episodes of DS9, the episode Shadow Play and Praying Playing God. So let's look at Shadow Play first. In this episode, um, Odo and Science Officer Dax investigate mysterious disturbances of the population of the village and the Gamma Quadrant. Meanwhile, Kira becomes romantically involved with the Bajoran priest, Philatic Mural. And I gotta say, like, I think whenever, like, we have basically the whole, like, the entire community is just, like, saying, why are people, um, you know, disappearing and all that stuff? It was a fairly intriguing idea in that, like, say, like, we've had ideas of, like, say, a community or something having disappeared or something of that nature when it comes to Trek. And in this episode, I think it does a good job in that we think, oh no, everyone's disappearing. Like, say, something is going on here. Who is it? What's wrong? Why is it happening? And all that. And I think all the actors do a good job, but one thing that is revealed is actually is that um, the man in charge of it um, Ruger, he's basically, basically has made it seem like, okay, everything on this, um, like, in this community has actually not been there because of a alien race known as the Minion had, in a way, um, you know, ravaged this planet. So he did what he could to try to recreate all of his community, in a way. And I used, uh photo generator to recreate all the things that I've lost. I've lived here in my village for nearly 30 years. I've watched the people marry, have children, <laughs> grow old, and sometimes I even forgot that they were holograms. But it's over. It's over. And yeah, I think like say a little bit of like say, um, more moral ideas of it. It's really good. I always like when we have episodes that are geared towards Odo, because, like, whenever we have the chance to talk about him, it's always good because you know he always like talks when the, when he talk comes to talk about his past. It's always a good idea. But at the same time, I'm gonna say what I think those little moments of. Odo talking to Te uh, Teya, I believe her name was, are all really nice. Like, there are, like, just moments of, like, two characters talking, like, Could you turn into a loaf of green bread? I suppose I could. Show me. And let you gobble me up? I don't think so. Him just saying, you know, I don't really want to transform for others because it felt people were just want more like this was a magic trick to them or something like that and yeah she's just a child so and she doesn't completely totally understand in it and all that i think was okay this is pretty cool i just i don't really think why well, thought all that was fairly well done i don't think this episode really kept me fully attentive and I'm not saying this is a bad episode, it's not. I guess, like, like, in the fact that, I like, when I was watching it, I was kind of running low on steam, kind of exhausted, I suppose. And I, I thought, like, okay, this episode was pretty good. And, yeah, but everyone did a great job. I did think that the romantic part with uh, Kira, pretty good. So, let's look at next episode.
this episode, while Trill uh, Officer Jazia Dax mentors a young candidate for joining a proto universe, uh, uh, like you know, uh, can for joining a Trill, um, a proto universe friends to destroy the station and Bajor. I gotta say, this episode was pretty good. I love the moments for Jazia and that. She's basically trying to help this dude, and that he just thinks they can say, Okay, I've got everything planned, I know everything I'm gonna do, I'm prepared to become, like, you know, joined with the symbiont and all that stuff. He's full aware of what's gonna happen, he understands, and all that, and is ready for it. And, yeah. I, I will say this, so I, I kind of wish that was the main focus of the episode and that I here's here's my perspective on it I well, I thought the story elements with the Jadzia moments were really well done and yeah I at the same time I just thought the aspects of the um proto universe I can't I my perspective is I kept on feeling like say okay this is all fairly intriguing, and it's all a little bit exciting. I just came in there and say, now let's go back to Jadzia and this young guy, because, you know, it's fairly exciting. Like, <gasps> you know, her talking about how she was, like, you know, how things were before, um, the, um, her, like, Dax, um, had basically, you know, joined became with the J Dax uh, Trill had joined and all that. I thought all that, okay, how she was previously when she was just a shy, quiet, reserved individual. But once she had joined with the Trill, she, well, not the, the, the symbiont, I'm sorry. He, she became more, you know, outgoing, more willing to, you know, push herself to do bigger things, more open and all that. And yeah, I thought all that was pretty good. I kind of liked that idea. And, you know, him basically her telling this guy, like, say, hey, you may think you are prepared for this, but at the same time, you know, you may not immediately know what you're going to be expecting, like, what your um, emotions, what uh, sorts of, uh, sort of personality is slowly going to be changing over you once you join with the symbiont and all that. And yeah, I thought all this was pretty well done. I honestly kind of liked this episode. See you next time.